It's Yonaka Teledi from Five Mid Mornings, back again with another Five Unscripted. And today's guest, Tishalima. Hi, guys. She is an amazing content creator, darling. You are also the founder of G22 Social Media Marketing Agency. I mean, you're a brand strategist, you're a social media manager, the list goes on. And I think mm. you're doing phenomenal. Thank you. Thank you so much. <laughs> Thank you for coming through. But before we get into anything, Talk about this outfit for me. Like, this tie is gorgeous. This It's got a butterfly in yeah, the middle there. Yeah, yeah. The pink jumpsuit is giving Thank everything. You. I mean, you're a preppy schoolgirl. Thank you. <laughs> um, what can I say? You know, drip <laughs> is forever. Drip is forever. <laughs> yeah. I can't do no small talk. No, no small talk. I'm not with the small talk. Can't be with the small talk one of the reasons I really was looking forward to speaking to you today is because it is Women's Month yeah. and I think it's very nice to always hear from young women who are also doing new things yeah. in newer industries, new careers as well, yeah. uh, which brings us exactly to that. Why the choice to go into content creation? What drew you to this particular format? Wow, um, that's a good question. <laughs> <laughs> um, so I've always been someone who is very imaginative you mm -hmm. know so i i grew up in my head a lot and i think for me content creation allowed me to really just what's the word to kind of bring to life yeah. what's in my head yes so i mean as crazy as it sounds 90 percent of the time when i am thinking it's always very weird scenarios that <laughs> <laughs> no one else knows. Yeah, that no one else knows. <laughs> yeah. And I'm like, it. this would be cool, like, on a video. Like, I want to see how this comes out. Like, what... It's just, like, very unlikely situations of, like, imagine if I'm at a wedding and people see that I can show emotion and then I just pull out a, you know... <laughs> <laughs> surprise, surprise! Surprise, surprise! <laughs> You did I not expect it. that, did you? <laughs> yeah. I mean, yeah. I love it. I think it's also, it translates in the energy that you put out yeah. in your videos, in your reaction videos on yeah. YouTube. I mean, I love it. Yeah. You have all, always constantly, I feel like, um, I want to say a narrator almost. Yeah. I feel like it's an internal yes. narrator <laughs> and a reaction person. Yes. Like you react to yourself yes. in a lot of your videos yes. with like that secondary voice. Yeah. And it's you. Yeah. Do you often find that you are narrating your day-to-day -day life as well, reacting similarly to things that happen in the real world that you would in your skits? Yes. <laughs> <laughs> to put it short. Yes. 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 I do that a lot. I feel like, to put it short, I'm very, in a way, kind of self-conscious. Yes. And not even in a bad way. Yeah. But I think... I I live life like it's a chick flick movie. Mm. Yeah. <laughs> I like that. That's like that's a great energy. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> like like I just always feel like I'm I'm in some movie. Yeah. yeah. You have a soundtrack going yeah, like all the time. Yeah, like I have a soundtrack like I don't know. The world doesn't revolve around me, but if who knows? <laughs> you are the main character, darling. <laughs> I am, darling. <laughs> <laughs> and it also I think kind of highlights what that means like realistically being the main character yeah. it's all fun and games to be a content creator but what is the longevity of that kind of a career for example mm. for you is that perhaps one of the reasons you decided to also become an entrepreneur and, mm. and launch G22 yeah so to just kind of go off track a bit yeah so for me to launch G22 it was it just happened so it wasn't in the plan I, I wasn't like oh since this is what I'm doing, I'm going to launch this. I was just having a conversation with someone who is who manages like a hotel. And they were like, um, we are struggling to create content and all that. And I was just like, oh, I, I can create content. And to my surprise, they were like, can you do it for us? Yeah. And then I just started realizing that actually, like, I'm, I'm really good, I'm at, good this. at this. Yeah, I like, I'm this. good at this. Yeah. I can actually do this. And... You know, other hotels and companies started contacting me. So it was kind of like connection based. Mm. So I, I did not reach out to the people. They were just reaching out to me like, oh, this person said you can do this. Can you do this for us? So 
I mean, it worked out, but it wasn't planned. And to talk about like the longevity of like what I'm doing, like content creation, this happened so quick for me. Mm. Like, I I always talk to people and I'm like, I think other people do this with like, a, oh, I'm going to pop off like in a few weeks or something. Yeah, overnight me, sensation. Yeah, like for me, it was like, this might take a year, two years. Mm. And I was okay with that. So I think I haven't had time to like really think about like, like where to from now yes. for me I was just I'm just in the moment you know living it as it yeah, happens yeah like it just happened so quick for me I I'm still in shock like yeah. I wake up every day grateful like I check my Instagram and it's like 10 more thousand followers and I'm like what sure. how is that thank possible? you Jesus yeah, yeah I'm, I'm like, also looking at the numbers I'm yeah. just like we want 50 something K and I want on 60 yeah. something K they're growing exactly quite fast. so I think for now I really just want to be in the moment as much as I'm mm. I'm a person who very much is like what's next what yes, do I do yes. next but at the short amount of time that this happened for now I just want to like kind of like just soak in mm. what's going on like yeah you know but of course in the long term I'd love to I'd love to get into acting for really? sure. Yeah. Acting. That's gorgeous. Yeah. I think you'd be amazing. Really, thank yeah, you. I think the power of acting is being able to put on characters. Yes. And you already do that. Yes. And you already do it in front of a camera. So yeah. it eliminates a lot of that camera yeah. shyness and performing in front of an audience. I think you do phenomenal as thank well. Thank you. But also, I think in light of the work that you do, I still feel that as a society, we have to come to terms with the fact that content creation is now a job that thing it's yes. not you know what i mean this mm. is a way to make a living mm-hmm. this is a way to you know i think put food on the table in mm. some instances are you finding that your family sees it the same way as well um so you know african households like to them it's yep. like a, yeah yep yep <laughs> it's like a as much as my mom like has supported me like the tripod she bought it you know like everything but i think she also kind of like just the idea of like making so much money from like promoting a brand to her it's still suspicious like really (laughs) (laughs) just like is that not a pyramid scam like like, are you sure girl yeah like (laughs) like even when I'm having talks with like my sister because my sister manages me, right? Mm. So even when we're having talks and she's like, oh, this brand reached out and they're going to pay you this much money. I'm like, is that a real brand? How is that? <laughs> uh, are you sure? Yeah. Like, yeah. I don't think they understand like making money easily, mm. you know, like for the longest time, I feel like um, African parents had to like sweat but, yeah, yeah, for hard. like money and then for you to just here get, it is yeah for you to like get like a, a whole salary for yeah. like one post Oof, they like it's unbelievable yeah they're like no but they're happy but they just like like what's the what's catch, the catch? Yeah, like, i think also it even goes beyond like that generational difference yes. i think even as your peer someone that isn't a mm. content creator yeah. i can't relate to that yeah i cannot relate to posting a video on my instagram <laughs> and getting a salary <laughs> i cannot but i can i can see a world where that is someone's job because yeah. that also means you take into account what you put out into the world. Yeah. As a brand strategist, I'm sure yeah. you have a lot to say about yes. your personal brand, yeah. how you formulate a brand as a young woman, mm. how you put yourself forward, what that also implies for the kind of client mm. that you can attract. Yes. We yes. briefly spoke about it earlier, mm-hmm. but ultimately when it comes to you know choosing which clients you will work with, mm. what are some of the things that you consider and that you think other young people coming into content creation should consider so for like myself or like my business for yourself okay so firstly let's talk about like values yes i really do think that with an audience it's definitely your responsibility of how like they see you Mm -hmm. you know and maybe not how they perceive you because people perceive, you know, people differently. But it's your responsibility of how, like, people see you. And even, like, 
with the large audience. I know I'm, I'm going astray, but no, no, you, you are fine. Yeah. You're perfectly fine. <laughs> with the large audience, you are basically in somewhat way are kind of influencing their decisions. Yes, you know. Yeah, yeah. So I think I think that it's important when you are making decisions of like which brand to work with or which people to work with also check like your your values you know mm-hmm. for me i'm a christian um i put that out there like my bio first thing is yes. jesus saved me like that's like my whole thing so i would not work with a brand that wants me to compromise my values mm-hmm. you know that wants me to compromise who you are yes who i yeah. am like i my identity is in christ you yes. know so i can't I can't promote something that goes against um what you know Jesus wants for me or mm. what Jesus says we must do mm. you know so I don't know if that answered your question It absolutely <laughs> did answer yeah. my question I mean the the content creation industry I think is is growing also just beyond what we thought it's not just selling products anymore mm-hmm. you could be selling services you mm-hmm. could be selling tech <laughs> it's just beyond a tangible thing as mm-hmm. well so how do you find right now in the space that people are receiving a young Christian girl? How are, how are people, and I'm talking your audience, mm-hmm. I'm talking about the people that are following you, mm. your family, your friends, how are they receiving you and you choosing to put that at the forefront of your brand? Wow, I think for me, it has worked for the promotion mm. and the, the spreading of the gospel right i feel like for so long the has been a face of like how a christian girl looks like yes. and what she does yeah. you know so for me i feel like for me to like come into the scene you know i'm gorgeous you know not period <laughs> for me to like <laughs> you did not expect that exactly you did. i shocked you a bit yeah. <laughs> Yes, <laughs> you know, for me to like come into the scene, um, this girl that's like pretty, um, mm. is funny, exactly. you know, that's, I think for so long people have seen like one type of like yes, Christian girl, yes. like the girl who just comes and guys, Bible of the day, verse <laughs> of the day. And I think m- what I do has allowed in somewhat form people to kind of like open up to the gospel you know Mm. for them to actually because you know i always say it's easy for you to get through someone when you can make them laugh yeah yeah like it's so easy to like to like share the gospel after you've made someone laugh or relate with them in some way Mm. and i think my platform has allowed me to do that and i think that it's being received well you know and actually make a conscious decision to not put out a video that's that goes against my values like the whole pew pew thing i'm just <laughs> jokes guys yeah, jokes, 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 jokes. <laughs> like i think that's the, the humor in some of what yeah. you do as well um looking at your youtube channel for example when you react mm. to those cheating videos yeah. i live for that darling <laughs> i live for it because it's like mm, now he's cheating now what mm. like how can you say uh god loves us so yeah. now obviously we can exactly i <laughs> like your reactions i think to some of what the rest of us also see on social media yeah. giving us an honest christian reaction mm. but in a way that they're like actually we're all thinking the same thing yes. like yes. it's not necessarily yeah. a christian specific idea yes. so um ultimately where else do you see you're taking your platforms your youtube for example yeah. are we going to get more vlogs yeah. what kind of what kind of a vibe are you trying to give us moving forward so vlogs, <laughs> I don't think I'll ever do vlogs. It's a lot of work. <laughs> it's a lot of work. Put the phone, leave yeah. the house, come back. Come back, take it. Hey. Hey. Oh. Yeah, okay, okay. <laughs> I salute the <laughs> president general. <laughs> They're very good at that. No, I, yeah. yo, that's a lot of work for me. And mm. also, I, I'm very uncomfortable with showing people my life to that extent Mm, you're a bit more private yeah Mm. i'm like i'm very like uneasy like oh my goodness someone knows how the inside of my house looks like oh Uh, yeah yeah yeah. for me that's very like i think it has its own people i think some Mm. people are born to do that you know and maybe in some way you are actually 
healing someone for you know because sure. that's that's what art does with vlogs. yeah really i live for vlogs oh my goodness literally i, I love tried. to watch people just go about their day really that's what i'm having for breakfast <laughs> I decided to wear this today and I'm Yo. like cute literally Yo, so I, I wish I wish I liked them and I've tried yeah. you know I think the ones I like are like the narrating vlogs oh, where yes. like you're actually teaching us something while you're vlogging so maybe the title can be like um, how to stop caring about what people think and yes. then in the video the person is vlogging okay that i can watch. i get that okay yeah. okay i get that yeah. 100 percent. but the vlogging like this is what i ate you're just like okay <laughs> and a lot of people are like it's either you love vlogs mm. or you just like just yeah. like okay about yeah. them yeah it's like i don't mind watching it but it's not something i would go on youtube and be like oh vlogs today mm. i yeah I, I don't think so yeah. Yeah, but I think in the future I definitely want to continue like the YouTube reaction videos. Mm. That's something I I have been like planning on how to get because my Instagram and TikTok audience now is diverse. Yes. So now I have more of the American audience also. Mm. And even though my videos have subtitles and all that, I also want to like cater to them as well and like make, because at that time I hadn't even um, blown up on like TikTok and Instagram. Mm. So for me, I was just like, since I'm in South Africa, I'm just going to tag it like <clears throat> the South African audience. So yes. I did those videos. And now that I have um, a different audience, I definitely want to like cater to them also, As but well. vlogs and my life uh, is a yeah. bit much. <laughs> it's a bit much. <laughs> I mean, I've I've learned so much about yeah. you already. Yeah. Um, I think in closing, I want to hear a very honest, honest opinion. Okay. You're you're a lost sibling, right? You're yes. a last born. Yes, <laughs> I'm a first born, so we are on the total opposite yeah. of the sibling totally. scale. Do you think? Or let me not say, do you think, do you purposefully make your older siblings life tough? <laughs> like, is it on purpose? Do you intentionally, do you wake up sometimes? Not every day. Mm -hmm. Sometimes and just think, hmm, I'm bored. Let, let me, me go see. <laughs> do you know what I mean? Like, do you just wake up and say, hmm, something is. <laughs> well, if I tell you, they will know. Oh, no. Oh, no. <laughs> that gave such lost sibling energy. But like, no, guys, I'm. <laughs> Guys, I'm a humble queen, mm. as people know. I don't do things like that. Okay. I love my older siblings so much, <laughs> you know. <laughs> <laughs> I was I was believing it, and then I was like, wait a minute, I asked this question for a reason. I am a victim. I'm a survivor really? of younger siblings. Yeah, no, so guys, we don't do it on purpose. You know, we it's love just you the vibe. guys. We just... <laughs> You know, when you're the last one, <laughs> the world revolves around, around you. you. And <laughs> it's not my fault that... Listen. You know, it's not my fault. Stay gorgeous, darling. <laughs> Stay <laughs> blessed. Thank Stay you. beautiful. Thank, Thank you for you. the chat. I look forward to seeing more of your content. This and just so sure. I know. It's like, can't it be an hour or yes, something? I, I agree. Yeah. I agree. Thank you so much. Thank Tisha Lima. <laughs> This is 5FM.